Hello and welcome to Polybar's Cooking Cave. I will today make um, some jokes. Uh, I will make them uh, cream boiled and uh, I will show you first. I made uh, I cut these uh, sun chokes uh, in, a, in a thick slices about uh, 4 or 5 mm thick. And then I put them in uh, water, added with uh, <coughs> some lemon juice. And this is to prevent they don't get the dark before I, I will use. Uh, right now I'm waiting for the water to boil and uh, when this is boiling then I come back. See you soon. Hey, uh, <coughs> I have the water boiling so uh, it's time to up. add a very little salt, not too much on the light and then uh, just uh, Put the sun chokes in the water. And then, uh, when the water starts boiling, then uh, they need to boil for about four minutes. They have to be uh, soft and still have a, a little uh, al dente, a little bite. So uh, now we let these boil for about four minutes and the uh, same time I will make ready for to make the, the the creamy sauce <clears throat> and for this I will need uh, uh, some flour some uh, cooking cream and uh, some of the water uh, from these boiled uh, sun chokes um, also, I will make uh, for this dish. I will make. Uh, will make uh, a chopped stick and uh, some fried bacon. More about that later. Okay, welcome back. And uh, I have had this uh, boiling for about uh, four minutes and. Uh, Take off. And, uh, <coughs> and I uh, will need uh, the water because uh, we need some of the water for for the stew. And, uh, put it in here. And then uh, I will add uh, about one uh, tablespoonful of, uh, of butter. Uh, this I make is for two persons, two portions, and uh, if you read uh, under this video about then uh, the recipe it is for four persons. <coughs> but back to this, uh, first you melt the butter, so it's all melted, and uh, as soon as it is melted, then you add the flour and uh, mix it into the butter. And make sure you take off the heat so it uh, doesn't get burnt. It has to be like a thin yolk like this. And uh, then we will add about uh, one small cup of uh, the water. Stir. And mix it good into into. Uh, the flour mix and then we'll stir till it's ready then. Mm. 
you have to whip it all the time so it will get uh, smooth and make sure you don't make it boil too hard because uh, then uh, this sauce will uh, get burned and this will give uh, a bad taste to the sauce and, uh, And it's all mixed in and uh, smooth. Then we add <coughs> about two cups cooking cream. little by little so we get fast warm and you have to Remember when you make this kind of sauce with flour, butter and the cream. You add little by little and then let it boil up because uh, when boil up uh, it will thicken. So we've just put too little the flour for example and uh, too much cream then the sauce will get too thin. So add little by little until uh, you can see how the sauce will uh, develop. Sometimes, so uh, but it's in fact an uh, easy sauce to make, a baked sauce. And, uh, turn up the heat so we get some speed. <coughs> and then again, uh, when the sauce is uh, thick as you want the sauce to be. Then uh, you warm up and let it uh, simmer for about one minute. This will take away the taste of the flour that can be in the sauce. And finally, then uh, you will uh, season it with uh, some salt and uh, if you have uh, some white pepper. You can use black pepper also. It's almost there. If you use an uh, electric stove as I do, so you can do like that as soon as the sauce is boiling, then you just turn off the heat. It's enough to make the sauce uh, finished. So we add some salt. And this you adjust same time you finish the sauce. And uh, if you want the taste a little smooth, then you add some uh, some sugar, very very little sugar. And give a perfect balance to the sauce. small teaspoonful of sugar. Enough to make it beautiful. Just that. And 
then in the ends we just put in the sunchokes. Mix it. And let it get warm all together. Now I will make the chopped stick. Stick just to add some oil. And then we'll season it with some uh, pepper. And let it fry for some minutes on each side. And, uh, it's almost finished. And we put in the bacon. Sunchokes is a perfect alternative to eating uh, potatoes. They're so full of uh, vitamins. And, uh, this also contains uh, the sugar insulin. So, in fact, the persons with diabetes can eat these sunchokes without any problems. Bye bye.